Hello everybody, ciao a tutti and welcome to Art with Miss B. Today uh, we are together for the fifth time since the beginning of 2024 and we are going to do another mindful practice based on an element of art and also some kind of mental reflections and meditation. Remember, if you're new to this channel, I have a variety of videos available and uh, from the beginning of January, all the way until the end of February, I will publish a video each week. And uh, these videos and these practices are based on, uh, of course, uh, reviewing some of the art elements uh, such as lines and colors, uh, shapes, but we create the patterns that combine their effectiveness with a positive affirmation. And I choose a different positive affirmation every time. Today, the affirmation that we are going to work on is I am resilient. I am resilient means that I am committed, that I can go on, I can finish what I started, I can really keep going even when I feel defeated, even when I feel tired, even when I feel that I cannot take anymore, but we stay, we commit to the practice and we finish what we started. For today's practice, so you need a, a mixed media paper or any paper sorry, that you have available. I will use my drawing pad. So if you have a pad that you're using for art projects, whatever you do with me, or if you're doing some art on your own, use what you have available. A pencil for drawing and coloring pencil, which is a fantastic, fantastic media to really try the resilient because you will notice during the practice that your muscle of the hand, the uh, you know, arms, the forearm, we start to get a little tense and a little sore. And this is when you kind of bring in even more mental focus to help yourself to complete the practice. I will switch the camera and then prep your materials and we start. Okay, guys, here we are. This is my drawing pad. I'm not going to use the whole space. I will actually reframe something a little smaller. So we keep the practice between the 20... Uh, five minutes the 30 at the most okay uh, I prepare my pencils here and since I'm going to work with the color wheels I already organized them uh, through color so I invite you to pause the video prep your material and organize already the colors that you're going to use so there is no stress added and we can really focus on the um positive intentions, positive affirmations that we are using today, which is I am resilient. For this practice, we are going to create, if you have a small piece of paper, you do not have to do the frame that I'm doing, but if you have a bigger piece of paper, you can reduce the space by doing what I do. A very nice horizontal line. Then we go all the way down with a vertical line. Then we do the same on the opposite side. And as you see, I'm not using a ruler. I'm embracing the imperfections. It doesn't have to be perfect. It just had to do the functions of work the way that we want to. And remember, in this practice, we focus on the um, process and not on the uh, product. So we're going to now trace uh, horizontal lines in order to create us a sort of a chart. And we can do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and I will stop at ten. If you have more than 10, go for it. If you have a little less, it's exactly the same. What is important that you're not making them, you're not tracing them too close to each other. You leave a little bit of space. In this nice freehand exercise, it's a very good like uh, uh, practice for our fine model skills. Now, we start our coloring. So we start from the yellow, the color of the light, the enlightenment, right? The sun, this energy that is outside and inside us. And we start the color to color the space. Now, coloring with a pencil, we want to have a very nice saturated color. So we're not going to do something very like a pale, but we actually add a little bit of pressure and we work with more short strokes. 
and we fill the space. nice and carefully avoiding wide gaps and while you do that I encourage you to sit in a comfortable position focus on the breathing in and out from the nose very intentional very deep and when you spread the, the colors so this case is yellow right the hue Focus and keep your eyes and your gaze on the paper and try to see and ask yourself how this color make you feel. So we are taking advantage by the fact that we are using the colors included in the color wheels, not only to review the correct order of the color in the color wheel, but also to really uh, get this positive and beneficial effect that comes to us when we are exposed to colors and most of all when we actually use them or we look at them in a, a setting like this one of course uh, we get uh, impacted by the colors so when we observe them in objects in environments landscape in the nature but now when you basically focus only on the color not on the object that the colors belong to or on the shapes, you get actually even more mental benefit. And we start to build up our resilience because at the beginning it's very easy to color with color a pencil, but then we will start to, you will notice that your hands get tired you feel your muscle of the wrist, the hand, the forearms getting kind of tense. And sometimes you can have a little feeling of discomfort and annoyance. I see, I see it in my students, mostly the young one, but even the middle school students, honestly, that is not really a different in age. It's just more like a, a sort of a aspect of the personality sort of like a aspect of the character right some students will really get very frustrated because they really feel uh the work that they have to do when we use color a pencil that they have to go over and over with strokes of the pencil in order to fill a space and that would be a little like a annoying for for them or overwhelming but that is such a good practice to build resilience. I am resilient and I will complete this chart even if I get tired, even if my hands get tired, even if I feel a little discomfort, even if I feel the tension in my muscle, I will stick to the practice and I will commit until the very end of it. If you want to use a background of music, choose your own music as something that is soothing, that is calming, that is relaxing. I feel the tension in my hands and in my muscles, actually all the way until my elbow, but I want to finish because I can do it. I know that I am resilient. I have my own moral strength, mental strength, physical strength, and I'm going to use it. to stretch it out shake 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 you help yourself right we help ourselves we support ourselves in life but we don't give up we are resilient
Sometimes something that helps me is like a switch in the angle. So I get a little bit of relief. If you don't have the same palette in the color pencil, because maybe you have a smaller package of color pencil, you have a more limited palette, it doesn't really matter. You will organize them in the order of the color wheel, the rainbow basically, and you can follow my example. And uh, if you have to skip some colors and your color wheel is shorter than mine, you can mine, you can go like a start again. So let's say that you don't have a light orange and dark orange and you just have orange, it means that you have the red immediately behind. It doesn't really matter because maybe you arrive and you complete your color wheel uh, before the chart is over and you can uh, still um, start again from the yellow because the last color should be green that connects, in fact, with the yellow on the color wheel. Remember... The product can be the same as mine, can be different. It doesn't matter. We focus on the process, the path that we have taken together to arrive at the conclusion of this practice. I am resilient. Even when the media that I'm using proves me, make, you know, put me under some pressure, but I will keep working and keep using the same media without giving up. The same that I said for the purple, if you don't have two different tones of purple and violet, violet and you have only one, it doesn't matter. You will just keep following the order of the pencils that you have available, respecting the color wheel. Remember that we want our colors to be very saturated, so nice, intense, a strong hue no gaps and as i say to my younger students no scribbles sometimes we do scribbles but not in this case I am resilient. I am strong. I can succeed through adversity and through challenge. I face the challenge that are in my life with an open mind, an open heart. I face them with courage. Because I am resilient. Now, this blue for me, it's a little too light, so I need probably a smoother transition. So what I will do, I will use a darker blue on top. So the transition between these two colors will uh, make more sense for my eyes. If it's for you, it's fine. You leave it exactly as it is.
better. Now really, my muscles is really tense. I really feel some kind of soreness from so much coloring, right? And moving my hands. But I keep going. If you really feel that you have to stop, you can stop and pause the practice, however, I really encourage you to try your best to keep going, keep going, keep going. It's like when you are practicing a sport or you are in a gym and you're working out and you feel really that you cannot take any more that exercise or that repetition and you feel your muscles tense and sore. Take a deep breath, like focus on your resilience and keep going. So I really encourage you to do this practice with me more or less at the same rhythm as I, I am doing it. And even when you think that you cannot anymore, keep going because you can. You are resilient and you have a proof, a challenge, right? That is to complete this color wheel and complete this practice and you are going to make it. Now, this is for me, it's gonna be the last color, but as I say, if you have a one more space because you did the smaller like uh, stripes, so you can keep using maybe a lighter green and then go back to the yellow. Keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. I feel that I'm almost, you know, about to give up because it's really almost, I would say, a little painful in my hand, right? But I am strong. I am capable. I am resilient. And I want to see this beautiful color chart or grid or whatever you want to call it completely done. Now we think that we are about to finish and so we push it all the way. And after we are done, we get a sort of relief. Now we use the black pencil. And this moment, just going with a very thick line around the edge of the grid that we create is giving us a little relief, right? Because I say, wow, I did it. I finished. I color it all. All the colors look nice and saturated. I don't see any white space. They are bright and intense. So they are not pale. And now I'm just doing the outline. So I'm relaxing a little bit my muscle, the muscle of my hands. And we're gonna go on top of this line as well. Pretend that you're basically coloring. So instead to do one single line on top, we are going to do short strokes following the line so that we trace with a pencil. In this way, we get thicker outline, which for this exercise work better. Go back to your breath. In and out. If sometimes you want to exhale from your mouth, feel free to do that. Mostly if you inhale very deeply. We are about to be done and we feel the relief, but sometimes the challenge continues and I'm asking you to stay with me and embrace that one last little challenge towards our complete resilience because as you thought that you were done, you felt the relief, right? But now I'm adding one more task. And I know that you feel tired because I say, you know, I finished everything. I thought that I was done. And now she's making me tracing more lines, but stay with it. This is one last stretch to our resilience. 
It's like in life when you think that you gave it all and you did it all and you think that you're done, but there is one more task, one more challenge, right, that we need to face. We take a deep breath and we pull up our sleeves and off we go. We face it. Because we are resilient. Think about what are the challenges in your life. My challenge is I live in a foreign country. I speak a foreign language. I left all my family, friends, and cultural background behind, although I keep many, many things, of course, with me, within my families and in my house. But I face the challenges every day. And uh, I am resilient. I made it through. I have a successful career as a teacher. I have a successful YouTube channel and I do something that I truly love. I am an artist and I get to display my artworks in local galleries. I get to sell my pieces so I make other people happy with something that I create with my hand and I am resilient. One more final stretch, my friends. And I know that your hand is hurting, mostly if you are not used to colors so often or so much, but that is exactly that physical feeling that will push your emotional response. And finally, we can shake, 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 stretch, and kind of give us an applause because we finish. I want you to take a moment to look at this beautiful grid that you created, a piece that costed you effort and work and pain in your muscles. If you were left hand like me on your left side, if you are right hand on your hand, ugh, sorry, right side, I want you to take a 3D breath for just looking at these colors and embracing them and really feel the power of the colors in uh, making us relaxed, happy, and very proud of what we just finished. And I see you soon with another practice and another positive affirmation. Okay, friends, thank you so much for practicing with me. I really hope that you enjoy the practice. Through the practice, I remind you once again, we review the color wheel. So actually we, get some of the, we got some of the color therapy because we know the colors are very beneficial, mostly when we work on them and where we are focusing with our eyes on the hue, which is the pure color, basically. We review lines because we have to use many. And of course, we learn a little bit more about how resilient we are or we can be. If you're new to this channel, I really, you know, I encourage you to subscribe for more content. I have many other videos in storage for you and uh, spread the word if you like. And I will see you next week with another beautiful mindful practice, work on element and media and positive affirmation. I hope you have a fantastic day and a fantastic gorgeous life. And I thank you so much for following me and helping this community to grow. Ciao a tutti!